Hey guys, so today we're checking out the Red Rock 4x4 high clearance catback exhaust system fitting all 2018 and newer four-door JL Wranglers with the 3.6 liter V6. Now, if you are in search of an exhaust system that's going to drastically change the sound of your Wrangler while also providing you a lot of other benefits like some better performance as well as some better clearance for the trail, then this is going to be a great choice to take a look into. So starting off with that sound, as you guys just heard from the sound clip, this is going to drastically increase that volume and it is going to deepen the tone in comparison to the factory exhaust system. So I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5 on the loudness meter. With one being completely stock and five being incredibly loud. Now this isn't going to tip the scales as far as exhaust noise goes. This will still be bearable, especially inside the cab area. Uh, you will be able to hear it when you are driving around, especially when you get on the pedal. Uh, that's perfect for you guys out there who want to hear it, your exhaust system when you are driving around. However, it's not going to be overbearing and you're not gonna get a lot of drone, making this comfortable if you are just taking it off road or you're daily driving your Wrangler. Now what I really like about this system is the fact that this is a high clearance system. So we're completely getting rid of that big and bulky muffler in the back um, and keeping it very simple, opening up a lot of room, increasing our departure angles and minimizing any damage to the exhaust system. Now again, I'm going to recommend this to anybody who's doing a lot of rock crawling uh, and again wants to minimize any damage to their exhaust and wants to keep everything up and out of the way. Now this is also going to be made of a 409 stainless steel material. So if you are in search of a higher quality material than your factory exhaust system or some other aluminized steel options out there, this is going to be a great choice. However, uh, it's not going to be 304 stainless steel, so it is going to still keep it on a budget and last a very long time. Now, as far as price point goes, I did say that this is affordable, coming in at roughly $300, making this one of the more affordable catbacks for your JL. Now, as you can tell, there's not a lot going on with this catback system. It is a very minimal system, and that's why it's going to be pretty budget friendly. Some other options on the page that are a little bit more expensive, like I said, they may have that 304 stainless steel, which is a higher quality stainless steel, uh, or they may have a muffler in the back, whether that's a single outlet or a dual outlet. Now with this, again, if you're looking for something that's high clearance out of the way, you're looking for an aggressive exhaust system and still a high quality build, then this is gonna be a great choice to take a look into. So as far as install goes, I'm gonna give this a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. You are gonna need some pretty basic hand tools to get the job done, and it's probably going to take you about two hours to do it. So speaking of that install, let me walk you through that right now. The tools that I used for my install were an impact wrench, a ratchet, a 10 inch extension, a 15 millimeter deep socket, a 13 millimeter swivel socket, a 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench, an exhaust hanger removal tool, and PB blaster. So to start our install, we're gonna start by removing our muffler from our system. Now I personally like to take off the hangers themselves instead of removing the muffler from the isolators. However, you can do that as well with a pry bar or a hanger removal tool. Now if you are going to remove the hangers themselves like I am, you're gonna need a 13 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter wrench. So this is gonna be a little bit difficult to see because this is a tight area, but as you can see on the side of the hanger, we have a bolt and there's going to be a bolt up at the top. I'm gonna to start with that top bolt. I'm gonna use a 10 inch extension, a ratchet, and a 13 millimeter swivel socket. And I'm going to remove that top bolt by going over the sway bar and hooking the socket on there. And once you get it loosened up, it should come off pretty easily. Now 
Next, we can remove the bolt on this side. I'm gonna be using a 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench just because we don't have a lot of room here. Now the hanger will stay in place. There's a little divot uh, and it is hooked onto the front of that bracket on the frame. So it should stay in place while we work on the other side. So again, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and it is going to be a little bit difficult to see, especially that top bolt. Now since those exhaust spacers are hooked on to the factory frame bracket, what we can do at this point is loosen up this clamp from the muffler piping to our cat back piping. I'm going to use a 15 millimeter deep socket and my impact wrench to do that. So what we can do now that everything's basically disconnected is unhook our hangers from the frame, making sure that we support our axle. We're gonna do this on each side and then we're gonna wiggle our exhaust off. All right, so those are both disconnected. We're just gonna wiggle and pull back. What we can do now is remove our cat back piping. We're gonna start with this clamp up at the front here. Now, this should be a 15 millimeter bolt. We have replaced our hardware and I am going to use a 13 millimeter swivel socket and ratchet to disconnect this clamp here. So we don't want to completely remove this bolt. We want to make sure that the clamp will fit over this piping so we can fully disconnect it. So once the front is disconnected and all loosened up, ready to go, what we can do is remove this hanger from the isolator right before our axle. So I already put some PB Blaster on there just to make sure it slips out a little bit easier. And I have a hanger removal tool that I'm going to use in order to get it out of the hanger. Now, since we have this all loosened up at the front, we should be able to move this exhaust over and snake our tool right in. So once that's out of the isolator, we'll be able to fully remove this part of our exhaust system. So what we have to do is kind of twist our exhaust and make sure that it clears.
Before we hop into the install of our new exhaust system, I wanted to sit it next to our factory one, give you guys a comparison, and tell you a little bit more about the benefits that you're gonna see out of this Red Rock catback. Um, now, as you can tell, for our Red Rock catback, we're not gonna have a lot going on, and that is a big benefit over our factory exhaust system. Now, a brief overview of our factory exhaust. We're gonna have a large muffler in the back, as you can see. It's gonna have a single outlet. That's what you're gonna see when you are looking at the back of the Jeep. And then moving up, we're going to have a large resonator up at the front. That's gonna create a lot of restriction. It's going to quiet down that exhaust. And it's also not just not going to maximize your exhaust flow like this Red Rock one will. Now this is going to have full mandrel vent tubing and a straight through style muffler that's actually going to be smaller than our resonator. So this is going to maximize that airflow, uh, increasing your performance as well as um, just creating a louder exhaust note and a deeper exhaust note. Now what I do like about this Red Rock exhaust system is the fact that this is going to have a higher quality build. It's made of a 409 stainless steel material and if you take care of it, it will last for a very long time um, considering the stainless steel construction. Now our factory exhaust system is made of a steel material so it will eventually uh, start to rust and show its age over time, unlike a higher quality stainless steel. Now the big thing about this exhaust system or the big takeaway about this Red Rock uh, system is the fact that this is a high clearance exhaust. So as you can tell, we have very minimal piping and we don't have a muffler on the back or really anything on the back at all. Now this is just going to hook into the hanger on the driver's side and just have the dump right there. In comparison to our factory exhaust where we have that large muffler on the back, and that can actually get in the way and kind of mess up your departure angles as far as the trail is concerned. So if you're doing a lot of rock crawling, this is going to stay out of the way and it's not going to be that noticeable when it's mounted up to your Jeep, but you definitely will hear it. Now, this is also going to come with all of the clamps and everything that you need in order to install it, creating a great factory fit. So what do you say we go ahead and install our new exhaust system? So what we're going to do is install our exhaust system from the front to the back. We are provided with a new clamp, making sure that the bolt is facing down. I'm going to install this over the flange, line up our new piece of piping, making sure that it's sitting over both of the pipes. Then we can take a 13 millimeter socket and snug that up. Now we don't want it to be completely tight. We just do want that to stay in place while we're installing our muffler. Right, so we'll be able to move it and adjust it and then we'll tighten it down at the end. What we can do now is install our muffler. Now I have a pole jack here just to support this while we get this snugged up. We also want to make sure that you have your uh, clamp as well. I'm just going to slide this on to our piping here. And let that rest there for a second. Gonna lift this up to where it needs to sit. So I'm just going to elevate the exhaust for where it's supposed to sit and then we can grab and install our tailpipe. So because we fully removed our hangers, we do have to swap over our driver side or our left side hanger onto our new exhaust system. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of PB blaster and move it up, make sure that it comes out easily. We can take our exhaust hanger removal tool squeeze and it will come right off. I can swap this over to our new exhaust. So making sure that it's oriented in the right way, what we're gonna do is just slide that on and now we're ready to install this on our Wrangler. So we can take our tailpipe and the side with the hanger installed is gonna go over our axle. We're gonna take our clamp and place that on the muffler, making sure that the bolt or nut is down. So we're gonna now get that up. So 
I'm gonna slip it into the hanger first, and then we can get it aligned with our muffler. Now keep in mind that this is pretty straight through style muffler, so it will be able to move pretty far back and forth. We wanna get everything attached, then we'll adjust it in a minute. pretty even on both sides. Now, before we go ahead and tighten these down, we do wanna get that hanger in the rear installed. So now we can attach our hanger with our factory hardware. So I'm going to hook it into the bracket. That should line everything up. I'm gonna start with that top bolt. Then we can tighten that up with that same 13 millimeter swivel socket and extension that we used before. And then we can install the lower bolt. Now we can take our lower bolt, thread that into place, and we can tighten that up with that 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench. What we can do now is adjust our piping and tighten everything down. I'm going to start with this back clamp using a 15 millimeter socket. Just wanna make sure that everything's sitting in there correctly, everything's straight, and we can tighten it up. Then we can move back to our other muffler clamp. Same 15 millimeter socket. And then last but not least, we can tighten up our clamp in the back. I'm gonna be using that 13 millimeter socket that I used to snug it up with. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe, and for more videos and products like this, always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.